Hello you guys, welcome back. This week we are going to be exploring the key of B major and G sharp minor. And the this key has five sharps. And I use the acronym Father Charlie Goes Down and Eats Breakfast for the order of the sharps. There's seven sharps. Father Charlie Goes Down and F, C, G, D, A are going to be the sharps that we have for the light side, which is our B major side, and the dark side, which is going to be our G sharp minor side. And there's a couple different, there's three different kinds of minor scales. This that's in red is called the natural minor. It has the same uh, altered notes as B major, so on the trolley goes down and five sharps. But this little one over here that's in green, this little addition, this would make it the harmonic minor scale. So G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F double sharp, and G sharp. So that would be the G sharp harmonic minor scale. And the harmonic minor scale is very cool sounding. It has a minor third between the sixth and seventh scale degrees, E, to F sharp is a whole step, but E to F double sharp, if you raise F sharp another half step, you're going to get E double sharp, which is a one and a half steps between um, your sixth and seventh scale degree. So that gives the harmonic minor its special kind of flair. And then over here in black here, um, this is the last kind of scale, we have the melodic minor scale. So on the way up, you're gonna have E sharp and F double sharp, so when you go up the scale, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F double sharp, G sharp, and on the way back down, we're gonna lower them. So basically just anything that's in red, but just so you know, you're gonna lower them. G sharp, F sharp, E natural, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, and G sharp. So when you're in minor keys, you generally have more accidentals, and that's because they're kind of using they're tweaking the sixth and seventh scale degrees often when you're playing through a minor piece. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is play you a little bit of these so you can hear what they sound like. And um, coming out will be some little tutorials, viola and violin tutorials, so you can play along and learn how to play it. And then also some recording tracks that you can practice along with as well. So let me turn my speaker on and we're gonna hear what B major sounds like. Okay, just a second. Let's see here. You're going to hear a cello drone and then the scale come in. Um, five sharps, yes, yeah, it's five sharps, but it's like a really angelic sound. It's kind of like heavenly sounding in my mind. So next up, we're going to do the opposite side of the spectrum. So that was the daytime. Now we're going to do the nighttime. Um, it might sound completely the opposite. So they're supposed to be contrasting. Let's see. You're going to hear a cello drone and then the scale, and I'm going to be three notes ahead. So I'm actually going to start on B rather than on G sharp.
quite as as dark as like C sharp minor for example or even like E minor or D minor there's something special about G sharp minor I'm not sure that I can really put my you know a word on it but I wonder if you feel the same let's go back and we're gonna hear G sharp harmonic minor with that tweaked seventh scale degree so that's the one that was in green with the F double sharp that's the only thing that we're adding that would be kind of like an accidental in the music so let me see here I'm still gonna be three notes ahead of myself <laughs> the one that tweaks the sixth and seventh on the way up so we're going to raise e sharp and f double sharp then we're going to lower them back to f sharp and e natural on the way down so for this one i'm going to just play i'm going to just double myself so i'm going to be starting on g sharp um, just along with the recording <laughs> or the last two. Um, what I'd love for you to do when you explore this key is to just kind of get a sense of the feel. What's the vibe of it? Is there a color it reminds you of? Is there a season? Is there a location? Is there some kind of way that you can artistically connect with the scale rather than, I mean, on top of just trying to play it, right? So um, I hope you enjoy it. Happy practicing and I'll see you soon. <laughs>